Wondering how the US stock market has been faring recently? Well, pull up a chair and get ready for an enlightening journey through the world of finance. On this fine Tuesday, US stocks have been aiming for the stars with a record-setting run that has been the buzz of Wall Street during the first quarter. The S&P 500, that old bellwether of the US stock market, rose about 0.3%, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average, another major player, edged higher by approximately 0.1%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite, never one to be left behind, led the charge with a nearly 0.5% rise. Now, Wall Street did take a breather from its rally on Monday, with all three major indexes dipping slightly. But the bulls are back in town, with the latest cheerleader being none other than Oppenheimer Asset Management strategist John Stoltzfus, who bumped his 2024 S&P 500 price target to a street high of 5,500. But what about economic data, you ask? Well, on Tuesday, the spotlight shifted to this very subject. Durable goods orders made a comeback during February, rising 1.4% last month amid increases in transportation equipment and machinery orders, as per the Commerce Department's Census Bureau. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. A new reading on US consumer confidence reveals that consumers are feeling a bit shaky about the future state of the US economy. The Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index for March clocked in at a reading of 104.7, barely changed from a revised 104.8 in February. The Expectations Index, which tracks consumers' short-term outlook for income, business and labor market conditions, slipped to 73.8 in March from 76.3 last month. Historically, a reading below 80 in this category signals a possible recession in the following year. This week's data serve as tantalizing appetizers for the main event on Friday, when the government will unveil the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, or PCE for short. This index contains the Federal Reserve's preferred look at the pace of inflation, in the form of core PCE growth. Switching gears to company news, former President Donald Trump's social media company is prepped for its Wall Street debut after merging with Digital World Acquisition Corp. Shares of Trump Media and Technology Group Corp. rose more than 40% in early trading. In summary, stocks are on an upward trajectory, economic indicators are mixed, and the market is buzzing with company news. The coming days will provide further clarity on the state of the economy with the release of the PCE index. As always, the world of finance keeps us on our toes, and there's never a dull moment on Wall Street.